Well guys, if you haven't already figured it out, this is the brand new Broadway Limited Great Northern S2 in their uh, hybrid brass series of steam locomotives. Fantastic detail, superb runner, and uh, strong solid sound. Uh, the BLI S2 features the uh, recent, re recently released Paragon 3 decoder which is a dual function decoder meaning that it can operate in both DC and DCC on our layout here we operate with North Coast Engineering uh, 5 amp system um, superb superb detailing everything we've come to expect with the most recent runs of uh, Broadway Limited's hybrid brass series uh, fantastic front uh, detail here on the uh, pumps up on the uh, smoke box and uh, really really finely done and then as far as the uh, overall uh, fit quality and finish um, just top rate by Broadway Limited um, there's also some outstanding detail going back along to the cab area where the uh, vestibule type on this locomotive uh, connects to the uh, Vanderbilt type uh, tender which is a uh, which is an oil burn so one of the superb details guys about this locomotive is between the cab and the Vanderbilt and that's this extension that makes contact coming out from the tender to the back of the van uh, back of the uh, vestibule cab and these items right here you can see are springs that allow this whole uh, mechanism to articulate with the movement of the uh, locomotive so it's a pressure uh, against the back of the vestibule and then these springs allow this part right here to articulate really nice detail um, I've got a couple of uh, Canadian national passenger cars from Rapido back there tied on to this as I think uh, I don't know if they ever ran CN but anyways I think the uh, color scheme looks pretty good with this locomotive um, so overall guys really high marks on this locomotive uh, I think we're selling these right around uh, 570 or so um, and they have flown off the shelf this is our last remaining one and uh, it'll probably be not around for very long if somebody doesn't grab it all <laughs> take it home with me I like it that much it is just gorgeous anyways guys uh, enough of me uh, we'll do some run buys and uh, get you caught up on it alright guys here we go so looking at the uh, side detail on the engineers uh, side of the locomotive uh, really really well done uh, starting up around the smoke box and then uh, working your way back um, the wheels are just gorgeous on this locomotive and then as we work our way back towards the uh, vestibule cab very nice detailing as far as the piping and then uh, we come to the firebox which is uh, very well rendered even from a uh, down low shot uh, the uh, spacing is relatively accurate um, and then uh, coming our way along we can see the uh, apparatuses uh, right on top of that uh, firebox with the uh, various uh, whistles and pop-offs and then uh, coming back along the Vanderbilt tender just uh, some striking striking detail and just a overall gorgeous locomotive so there we go guys uh, again just a superb model available again from Broadway Limited um, one thing of caution is if you are running less than I would say 24 I'd even go 26 uh, inch uh, radius on this bad boy and uh, if you've got number four switches don't even think about it um, it just uh, it's a large locomotive with big drivers and um, it's just not going to uh, just not going to work on any type of uh, small radius or small radius uh, turnouts 
I would recommend at least a number five or a number six, especially for crossovers on turnouts. And then, uh, again, don't even attempt to go around it on anything less than probably 24. Uh, you're just going to uh, push the limits of what the what the locomotive was designed for uh, engineering-wise. Anyways, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, can't say enough about the locomotive. And uh, any more questions, uh, comments, come on over and visit us over at uh, Tony'sTrains.com. Later, guys.